Okay, now we're gonna take a pose called Badanguliasana. Badanguliasana. Bada is bound, and angulis are your fingers. So I'm gonna bound my fingers and then turn them out. And I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what happens is I'm gonna take my arms straight up. Now when the arm shoulders are tight, I wanna move the thighs back and go up and open up the armpits so my upper arms move back. And then exhale and we'll switch sides and we'll do the other side. So bring your feet together so your legs are in Tadasana. Weight in your heels, interlace your fingers so your right index finger's on top. Turn your palms out, move the weight back so you're not moving your, uh, your thighs aren't coming forward, move the weight back, chest up, inhale, lift the arms up, and let's take the arms up and down a few times. Release your fingers, change the hook of, change the cross so that the left in index finger is on top. Turn your palms out, three or four times, we're gonna go up, and then exhale, up, and then exhale, upper arms further and further back, last time, and release your arms down by your sides. Now you're back in Tadasana, but you may start to notice that this shoulder, you're just standing taller, you're feeling more energized, and the shoulders rolling back. More in its socket. Because you know, our daily lives are this way, driving, computers, um, everything is in this direction. So we wanna teach, train the arms to go back, because that's the way that's, that's more healthy for the shoulder joint, but also it opens up the chest and your heart. So not just your actual beating heart, which we wanna keep uh, healthy, but your spiritual heart, which is emotionally connected to confidence and resilience and, and, a, and a sense of positivity.